Toby, as brought to you by the Country Squire. So, this is going to be my first aromatic review. Uh, before I forget, I'd like to say, if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Snuff and Puff. I do nasal snuff and uh, pipe tobacco reviews now. I just started. This is, uh, I believe this is the third one that I have recorded. So, uh, I have done, what was the first one I did? Uh, McBaron's HH Old Dark Fired. Uh, yesterday, I did a review of... Uh, Capstan Blue has not be really has not been released yet, and now I have Old Toby today. So if you watched the Capstan Blue, you will know that this was the preferred as 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 it goes. I don't think it's uh, exact. Maybe the blend is a little different, but this is supposedly the preferred blend of J.R.R. Tolkien. And I am a huge, huge Tolkien fanboy. I love all of his works, as I've said, except for, I, I can't get through the Silmarillion. So uh, you know sue me. Um, but <clears throat> when I was, uh, when I was going through that, I, I've, I've had this kind of epiphany, uh, thinking about, um, the way he incorporates, um, pipe smoking and pipe tobacco into his stories. And when he mentions old Toby, he mentions something that is like the best, you know, it, it's the best. So in my mind, that's, if if his favorite was was Capstan Blue, to my mind, he's saying Old Toby in that realm is Capstan Blue. You know what I mean? That that's kind of where my mind goes with it. Now, all that being said, uh, I I absolutely love that blend. I love Virginia's. Uh, I also love this bad boy right here. This is my favorite aromatic tobacco that I have tried thus far. Um. It's very, very flavorful, and I have been able to get into this tobacco like where, where I, I've got in the zone while smoking it, and I could taste absolutely everything. I don't even know if some of the stuff that I was tasting and the sensations that I was getting, I don't even know if that's part of it. Maybe that's just how I was perceiving it, but uh, I will go into that uh, in a little more detail once we light it up, uh, but we are going to definitely try the tin note here oh my god it's just so rich it's just, it's 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 a dessert it really is you can get i know there's walnut you can definitely get that vanilla i believe Um, there's something in it that gives it a creaminess and that might be just how the vanilla is used but man and, and this stuff is is wet now let me see if I can get it in there get get a get a good look at it it is wet right this stuff I have to lay it out for a good 20 30 minutes um, before it's able to be smoked um Speaking of the, the note that you get when you smell it, I asked my family, because I always have them check and get their opinions on what things smell like, um, you know, that going for the, for, for the room note as well. Um, but old Toby, when they smelled this one, it was what did one of my daughters, my, my oldest daughter, she's, uh, she's 14, and she said it smells like carrot cake, like the carrot cake and the cream cheese icing. And I've got to say... Since she said that, <laughs> that's what I smell when I smell this. It's the carrot cake and the cream cheese icing. That's it. Man, that's the best way to describe this aroma, in my opinion. But uh, it's definitely up there as far as flavor and, and definitely for room note when you're smoking it. Uh, this is... Now, I've had, I've had mixed reviews... Um, Sometimes they like the smell of the Rivendell better. Sometimes they like the smell of the old Toby better. Um, but these are definitely uh, favorites in my house. So I know when, when, I'm, when I'm smoking around them or we're all hanging out on the porch, I'll probably go, you know, for my old Toby or my, or my Rivendell. Uh, but that's it. We're going to head outside now. I will see you guys on the porch. Let's go.
Welcome to my porch here in sunny Florida. Old Toby. And I have it in my 7 le one 404. I got the starter kit because, you know, I wanted a nice pipe. I really like this one. I wanted the case, wanted the tamper. Uh, I think it's a really good deal. I really, really like this pipe. So, there are so many different things going on in this blend. So when I first start out on a bowl of this, the nuttiness is right up front. Very, very strong in the walnut, not, like not overpowering. Apologize for the traffic. Uh, not overpowering, but present. Again, I also, like I said earlier, I think I get some vanilla. And I have to tell you, once I get a good rhythm going on this, the temperature is perfect and the moisture is perfect. When everything comes together, this thing right here is such a flavor bomb. It's the only tobacco that I've smoked so far that I can taste sugar like only only when it's when I when I'm smoking it right though uh, but yeah like I feel the sugar in my mouth it's the craziest thing I've never got that um, off of a smoke before ever but this is really mellow like if it weren't for the moisture I, I could definitely see this being a more frequent smoke, but I usually only, I don't even smoke a bowl of this every day. I want it to last. So maybe every other day, you know, throw some old Toby in here. But this is my pipe strictly for my aromatics. That's the way I look at it is this. If I'm gonna be out in public, I'm gonna be smoking something pleasant for everybody else. My choice, not saying that anybody has to. Um, so in that case, I would like to have my better looking pipe that would be the one that is presented to the public. And when I'm smoking at home and I'm puffing on my Virginias or uh, I really like jackknife plug, and I know I know there's some Virginia in there. At least I I believe I read that. Um, yeah, then I'll use uh, I'll use my cob, and then I've got another uh, another pipe that I'm trying to use for my Virginias, but I'm scared because it's so it's it's not briar. I believe I want to say it's maple, and I'm scared that <laughs> smoking my Virginias in there. Uh, is going to burn through you know I want to I'm, I'm I'm doing it little by little though I want to get a little cake build up in there then I'll feel a little more at ease I don't really have much to comment on about the about the tobacco flavor itself because for my palate, I don't really taste the tobacco, I taste the flavorings, which is fine with me because it's beautiful. Every once in a while, I get cinnamon out of this. Now, if anybody out there watching this 
If you have smoked Old Toby, did you taste cinnamon? Because it's only happened for me twice. I don't taste it every time, but I feel like there's cinnamon, at least a little bit, or something similar to it in this blend. As far as like room note goes, um, it's hard for me to describe my, my wife and my daughters absolutely love it um you know they, it's definitely one that that smells good to other people um my best description however is when i was a child so i grew up in the 80s i was born in 1981. and during my childhood there would be family get-togethers where we would go, you know, have, have dinner with and, and visit with family and, you know, holidays, Easter's, things like that. Um, and one of, the, one of the, the older men in my family, um, we called him Uncle Wright, and he, he smoked a pipe. I always loved it. I, I always, I wanted, I wanted to be around him when he was smoking because of I loved that smell and I think that might be one thing that got me wanting to try pipe smoking because I had such a pleasant memory of of that aroma when I was a kid about the second or third time I smoked some old Toby I'm standing out here on my porch as usual I set my pipe down I walked inside, I think I went to grab a drink or something. And when I came back out, I swear I almost I almost had tears. I it was it was that aroma. So I don't know what it was that he smoked. I never I don't even know if I could read at that point. This this, this was a long time ago. Um but that's that's what it was. And it, it, it's if it's not it, it's very, very close to it. And from what I understand, this is a newer blend, but it's very, very similar to something that was around in the 80s. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's a neighbor whose dog is howling from inside the house. So if you can't hear it, I apologize. I don't think this is uh, gonna be a very long video. It's probably gonna be on the shorter, um, be one of the shorter ones i believe just because i don't want you guys to have to hear that like if, if the barking stops and the howling stops in the next couple minutes i might stick it out but yeah this this is nostalgia for me it's it's, it's that that aroma it takes me back to my childhood and i've got to say i had i had a lovely one so usually when somebody thinks of florida they think Disney. I think the beach. You know what people don't think when they hear the word Florida? Cows, ranches, farms. You don't think of it. But once you leave the coast and you get you get into real Florida. I'm talking where the swamplands, the cabbage palms, the oak hammocks, the creeks. It's just, it's a completely different thing than what you would think it is. Um, my hometown, it's a town called Mayaka City. And if you've never been there, you've probably never heard of it. Need a relight here. Uh, anyways, it's, it's here in Florida. It's, uh, it's in Manatee County. And it's almost completely ranch and farmland. There's some flatlands with, some of it's flatlands with palmettos all over the place and long skinny pine trees and other parts are sugar sand and a little bit of grass and other parts are lush green grass with hundreds of cattle grazing. 
some it's it's farms we got they grow cucumbers and peppers and strawberries and tomatoes just so many different things orange groves we have dairies and it's it was such such a cool experience but you know people think of florida and they don't they don't think of that stuff they think of the touristy stuff again i'm using a big unless you're gonna buy me another lighter i don't want to hear it you know but but yeah you get or get away from the from the touristy locations and you get into real florida man it's so cool um i mean i spent most of my most of my childhood when i wasn't in school and i wasn't on horseback helping my dad you know gather cattle or or, or, or check on fence i had my rifle and i was just walking through the woods you know i was i was just exploring i mean from probably I started doing this probably eight or nine years old. I would just, especially during the summer, I would grab my rifle and my fishing pole and I would just disappear and stay gone all day. If I got hungry, I had my fishing pole. I was fishing anyways. Catch fish, I could build a fire right there. Cook them. Same thing, we had small game everywhere. Tons of, tons of rabbits and things like that. So it was really cool and I got to, I got to experience I got to teach myself basically how to how to survive and I think that was it was an experience that a lot of people will never get you know sometimes I'd like to sometimes I'd like to be able to go back and you know relive Some of the great times I had, you know, especially, you know, being with, uh, you know, I, I could spend time with friends that aren't here anymore. While while it's a cow town, you know, my hometown still experiences loss. You know, people have problems and issues that they can't deal with on their own, and you know, sometimes it gets the better of. See, I'm getting into it now. I'm starting to get into that sweetness. There it is. There it is. I'm glad I was able to get to this on camera. So delicious. If you paste this stuff right, you know, don't don't burn it too fast. Don't burn it too hard. You know, get the inside of your mouth coated. And just sip it. Keep it a nice, nice cool cherry. I love it. <laughs> I just kind of zoned out there. My goodness. Uh, all right. Well, this video dragged on a lot longer than I expected it would. It's definitely going to be, I think it's still going to be one of the shorter ones, but uh, I've got other stuff I've got to do. I've got some snuff reviews I've got to get to, but I wanted to get to this first so I didn't uh, pollute my nose holes so I could taste and, and smell properly. So, uh, I would like to thank you guys if you have hung out and watched the entire video. You have my deepest gratitude and my thanks. Uh, I would like you to please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would like to consider hitting the thumbs up button. Well, I have no idea what just happened to my phone. I don't know what cut out, what didn't. I'll find out when I get into editing. Uh, so, yeah, definitely hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Let's bump this thing up in the algorithm. Um, I'd like to thank you guys uh, from the bottom of my heart, man. You know, uh, I didn't expect much from this channel. I don't know why. <laughs> I just didn't, you know. 
Uh, I, I don't really have any type of expertise in any of this stuff, but you know, you guys, at least for whatever reason, you find my content either informative or entertaining. And uh, for that, I say thank you. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Keep on puffing. Peace out.